audience. What did we watch this week, Corey? Well, um, we watched a terrible movie. We do that every week, Corey. What was it this week? Uh, 2012 film titled Parasitic. About a group of people on a bar who uh, one girl eats some bad sushi after a com like a comet came down, it landed in the ocean, and it caused the fish to, I guess, mutate or something. It caused like a parasite, basically, to get on get on the fish. And a blind chef cut up this green fish and made sushi out of it. And this one girl at a bar ate it, and she became very violently ill. And next thing you know, a giant um, parasite, a parasite, penis-looking thing it comes out of her throat. Yes, and pretty soon, one by one, each person who's in this bar start dying. So, what did you think of the creature? Well, first off. This movie was bullshit. Okay, first you you got it's an uh, it's like an hour and twenty minute movie, and you sit through this entire thing. The movie is god awful, but the last two minutes of the movie is the best part of the entire thing. It's like the coolest ending to a terrible movie. I I can't even fathom how that's even possible. Yes. But the okay so the creature on the woman that's throughout the entire movie, it's dumb for the most part. I mean, it, it moves and everything, and that's cool. I, I appreciate that it's not like a CGI thing, but it's just, it, it just kind of looks like a, like a, a penis coming out of her neck, is what it looks like to me. And, you know, it shoots out something, and it lands on peop these women's bellies, and they become zombie-like things, and... Yeah, I, I figure they'd do something, like, uh, I don't know, they'd house, like, more of the parasites or some shit. But no, they just turn into zombies for no reason. And after that, after the entire movie, there's a creature at the end of the movie that is probably the coolest creature I've seen in any horror movie in a long time. For a low budget film. Yes. It's one of the coolest things you will ever see in a low budget horror movie of the last 10 years. But that doesn't excuse the fact that you have to sit through an hour and 16 minutes of just pure god awfulness. Yes. There. Through most of it, it makes no sense. They're supposed to be waiting on this one woman, and they're like, oh, we can't leave. But they can just walk out the dang door. Yeah. Uh, and that was a slayer. That's well, that's easy pickings, but it just was. The creature isn't even after him half the freaking time. They deserve their deaths, in my opinion, because why would you stay? <laughs> but even, yeah, even as a slayer, I want to kill him, right? But they fucking walk to it. They make it too damn easy. Very true. But uh, yeah, the, the acting was. Awful. I mean, seriously, one of the worst acting performances I've seen in a long time. Uh, it's almost as bad as Axum, and I will get to that movie in the future, I'm sure. Uh, shoot, I probably shouldn't have said that. <sighs> shoot. It goes on the list anyway. Great. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, um, this movie was just terrible, except for the last two minutes. The last two minutes would have been an amazing movie had they done, you know, stuck with something like that, not the penis-looking thing out of the woman's, you know, throat. I, I, I this one just. Pisses me off. Why would you make me watch something like this? Because I can. 
<laughs> Have you found the key yet? Nope. I guess we'll just have to watch another movie. Oh, great. <laughs> Yippee. See you next week, audience. <laughs>